A new form has been created which will display information about the tool position within Power Mill. The tool position is shown for the active tool that is currently attached to the machine tool. This new form will allow the user to select the work plane coordinate system in which the tool position is shown. The new form will be accessible through either the machine tool toolbar, through a new icon, which I am hovering my mouse over here. It can also be accessed through an icon when you are within dynamic machine control, and you can also enter the typed command form tool position in the command window to open up this tool position form. Current users will remember that in previous versions to get the tool position you had to first open up dynamic machine control, access the advanced settings and then go to the position tab in the advanced settings dialog. And here you can see the tool tip position and the tool center and the contact point. However, if you wanted to see these positions uh, relative to a different work plane, then you had to close the form, exit dynamic machine control, and then change the work plane system. Now, with the new tool position dialog form, the user can see the tool position even if they are not in dynamic machine control mode and even if a machine tool is not active. So I'm going to activate toolpath here and I, I'm just going to simulate it from the start. So during the simulation I want to see my tool position update. So I'm going to open up the tool position form from my machine tool toolbar. I can see the current position here and it, at the moment it is relative to the current model location. So if I just use my arrow keys to cycle through the toolpath simulation in the tool position form, I can see all positions update live as I am moving the tool over the toolpath. So I can see the tool tip position, the tool center position, and the gauge face position. If my tool axis has an azimuth or elevation, I will also see these update in this form. With this form, I can also change the coordinate system. So I have a number of options here. At the moment, I'm using the current model location. I can choose the NC program output work plane, global transform, active tool path, model location. I can also choose the active work plane and the named work plane. So if I switch to active work plane, and then here I can just activate you can see either this work of plane my here work plane. is orientated to be a 3 plus 2 axis position. So in my tool position form, I am seeing the azimuth and elevation based off of this work plane. If I switch to work plane 2, that is a simple 3 axis work plane that I'm using. My azimuth and elevation go back to 0 and 90. So switching between the work planes, I can also see the position coordinates update as well. So this new form just makes it a lot easier for users to, first of all, get the tool position that they want. They no longer have to go into the dynamic machine control mode in order to get these. And you can also change the coordinate system live and see the updated coordinates straight away. So if I just close this, I'm just going to demonstrate how to access the form through the dynamic machine control. So I'll just right click on a tool in the Paramount Explorer, click on dynamic machine control, and then here I can open up the machine position form, and on the machine position form I can access the tool position form. So this also allows me to see both the machine tool position and the tool position concurrently as I am moving a tool around my toolpath.